Hello, welcome to this first look at the long dark. Um, just put my phone somewhere out of the way. It shouldn't ring, it's on night mode. Um, now, this is a survival game. I don't normally play these sorts of games and I just thought I'd try it because I'm, I'm going on holiday to the Arctic later. Not right away, but soonish. And uh, I thought, I don't know much about survival in any conditions, actually, but especially the Arctic. So let's have a go, shall we? <clears throat> See how long I live. Apparently you die quite a lot in this game. So this is the alpha version, and that means it's still um, being programmed and in, in preparation, so there may be bugs. Uh, the whole system isn't there. I have to play in sandblock sandbox mode which is okay whatever that is there's a story mode which apparently explains some of the unusual animal behavior and stuff um, and we'll just start check options um, I've set it to 1920 by 1080 for YouTube um, in a window because that's best for me to record it and other stuff is, I don't know, whatever. I changed the clock type to 24 anyway. So, oh, have to figure out where to put my head as well. Looks like buttons are down there. Let's see. Okay. Brightness, I adjusted that already. Audio, I haven't touched that. Music, I'm going to turn that off because YouTube hates music. Don't want copyright strikes, do I? Confirm. Controls. Oh. Enable gamepad. I don't have a gamepad. I do have a mouse. Aim sensitivity. Uh, who knows? Invert Y. I don't know. Confirm. It would be useful to have all these controls, wouldn't it, if I could remember what the heck they were. Key bindings. Oh, that's more like it. Okay, WASD. This is where I get my strained thumb from. From doing WASD on, on games. Um, sprint, left shift. Okay, whilst doing WASD, presumably. Yeah. Crouch, left control. Oh dear. How am I going to remember all this? Left interact or shoot. Place aim at brandish for the right button. So presumably, yeah, okay. Right button to aim, left button to shoot. R to reload. How am I going to remember all this stuff? I don't know. I should print it out really, shouldn't I? I'll probably just get killed. Um, survival panel tab. Radial menu. Backpack, clothing, journal. I for backpack. Yes, of course. Clothing is a C. Okay. Journal is a J. That's kind of logical. First aid. Yeah. Pause. Equip light source. One equip weapon. Oh, I see. This is how I pick the. If I, I do things, it's one, two, three, four. Light source. Weapon. Drop decoy, start fire. You know, I have a feeling I should write all this stuff down. <laughs> Let me do it. I'm never going to remember. Hold on. Okay, it's all in writing now, so maybe I can manage that. So, let's start. Choose your experience. For new or experienced players looking for a balance between exploration and survival. Wildlife is sparse but can seek you out. Wonderful. Challenging but resources are plentiful. Four active feats, whatever they are. Pilgrim. A pensive exploration. Most survival elements tuned to be very forgiving. Wildlife will not attack unless provoked. Sounds better. Stalker. Okay, really dangerous, clearly. 
interloper. Yeah. <laughs> Mother Nature wants to kill you, yes. The world becomes more hostile the longer you survive. L lovely. I'm gonna go for the very simplest on the grounds that I've lived all my life in the city or towns. I know nothing much about survival in the countryside or wherever outside the supermarket. Ideal for new players. Okay. For intermediate players, intermediate, advanced, 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 random, more regions are on their way, okay. Well, we know where I'm going to start, don't we? Oh, a male or a female? Mm, let's roll a dice. I don't know. What shall it be? One, two, three, it's the man. Four, five, six, it's the woman. One, it's the man. It's me in a parallel universe. Hopefully, unless I survive, then it's me, really. Name, oh, okay. Oops. Alpha Ducano, there we go. Why not? A mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Ages, hopefully. I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life and see if I could not learn what it had to teach and not. Oh well, don't give me time to read it. Right. And here I am. Oh, I move the mouse and it and it moves immediately. Okay, that's good in a way. Nice. Simple graphics, but nice. And I have to use WASD to move around. But what am I going to do? What's down here? Where's the plane? If I've crashed, where's the plane? First rule of survival, stay with the plane. Well, there's water or ice here, by the looks of it. I can see my breath. My footprints. Oh, nice. I wonder how long they persist. Um, it looks to me like it's flowing this way. One would normally go downstream, but let's have a quick look. I think I would normally go downstream. You're more likely to find the coast and, and the cities and stuff like that. Oh, a bunny. No sign of any plane. I'm going to go downstream then, be sensible. I think it's sensible. <laughs> and I think this is downstream. It kind of looks like it's downhill to me. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Anything up here? What's this? Bits of rock, bits of tree, some sticks. Uh, hmm. Can I? Can I interact? Oh, what was the interaction thing? It was the mouse button, presumably. Because I'm thinking I need to do something with this, or can I do anything? Oh, branch, here we go. Break down. Ooh. 
Minus 13, lovely. So I've got some wood, I suppose. I got that branch symbol to appear just by pointing at the right place on the stick. I'm supposing I'll need some firewood or something. I mean, I'm on my own, I've got to survive. I think in real life I would probably just walk, I have to say. But, and I hope for the best, but I would have to do this at some point if I'm totally isolated. Can I do anything with the reeds? No. Is this water or ice? Minus 13, it's probably ice. Oh dear. There's some structure over there. I don't want to walk right out in the middle. But I don't want to go too close to that animal. It might um, might be hostile, might not. Sprint a bit. Not too much energy. Is it following me? No. There's a bunch of huts over there. Oh, there's one here quite close. The lake seems uh, pretty solid. Well, not there. There's some broken ice. See what it is. So I don't die. Tab my health. Oh, that's, that's good. It brings that up. Okay. And I am chilled, rested, slaked, peckish. Feels like minus eleven. I'm one hundred percent healthy. Oh. Okay. Anybody home? No. Whoa, hatchet. This will come in handy. Left. Take it. Take it. Take it. Well, I could start a fire, but I won't right now. Oh. Take it. Is this crayons? Sewing kit. I think I can use this. Yeah, I reckon I can. Take it, line, yep. Cloth, yeah, take it. Candy bar. Take it. That'll help me. Okay, take it. Take it. Okay, oh, what's this? Take it. There was something for clothing, wasn't there? What was the thing for clothing? It was C for clothing. Let's just see what I've got. Outer, inner, feels like minus 8. The outer temperature is minus 12. That's pretty bad. So I'm wearing stuff, I presume. Decent thermal underwear. I'm, I'm quite well dressed. Okay. Decent jeans. New driving gloves. Ragged wool scarf. Baseball cap. Leather shoes. Not for this suit, not for this sort of weather, really, but. I see. Protection is 8%. Okay, back.
seven hours of daylight left, it says up at the top corner. When I press tab, the water's a, the ice is a slightly different colour here. I hope it's not too thin there. I'll follow this little paler trail here, I think. I don't know if this is the thin stuff or the thick stuff. I hope, hope it's the thick stuff. Ooh. Is that a crow? F it is a crow feather. Could end up being useful. Could it? Oh, it said on the side. It's something about arrows. Okay. A corpse. Can I eat it or what? Presumably not. It, probably not allowed. Decent ski jacket. Take it. And in fact, let's look at my clothing quickly. Key jacket. Oh, so this is this is just a sweatshirt. Oh yeah, stick a ski jacket on. Fantastic. Feels like minus six now. That's a bit of an improvement. Well, if these feathers are useful, I'll pick up a few more. Okay. We could use this arrow shaft. Oh, okay. Um, the, the little feathers you might put on an arrow to give a bit of drag to the tail. Okay. Grab a few then. Can't have too much water. That's for sure. Invisible hook there. It makes a of this. Right. Good, good, good. Is there actually a door on this thing? No. So I'm thinking with how much daylight left? Seven. I'm starting to get a bit cool. I'm walking across the thin ice, perhaps. Is that where I came from? I think that's the one I came from. Let's go over here. There's a bunch of huts over there, too. I do hope it's safe to walk on this. <laughs> Looking pretty solid at the moment. There's a big hut there. Okay. And some little huts. If they're all the same, let's go to this one then. Just thinking, if I want to start a fire at some point, and I'm getting chilled, as it says there, I'm probably going to want to light a fire, so I'll need a whole load of wood. Hello? A bed, okay. Well, I can break that down.
somebody's flipping crate. Fur firewood? Yeah. What have we here? Well, I'll break those down if I absolutely have to. Is that it? Oh, hold on. There's stuff in it. Wonder if this is anything to eat. Am I hungry? Not particularly. Leave them. I've got some already, haven't I? Blowing a bit. Pile, big pile of wood, I hope. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Ragged wool socks. Take it. I might put them on. Let me just check my clothing. Oh, take that too. Worn sports socks plus 0.2. Those are plus 0.1. Thin cotton socks, useless when wet. Okay, so take them off. And put them on. Strange, it's a plus 0.2 on the others, but anyway, I th I'm pretty sure the wool socks going to do better than cotton. From my reading for my Norway holiday, cotton is rubbish in cold weather. Especially if it gets if you get a bit sweaty and wet. It's terrible. Back. Best to have polyester or acrylic. But especially polyester it seems. Because it wicks the moisture away from you. What's it like? Five hours of daylight.
think I can use this. Tinder, okay. Shelf with stuff on it that I can't apparently use. Plastic container. Empty, but I've got some peaches. None of these little cabins seem to have something for me to light a fire, uh, like a, a stove or something. Keep the lamp if I had a lamp, it would be keeping it burning. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm done in here. Is there something there? No. See, uh, okay, I, I'll come back to these cabins if I have to, but I think it would be nice if I could find one with some heating of some sort in it. I mean, those other ones out there on the lake, ooh, it's foggy. And is that... No critters out there. They don't look like deer. I think they're wolves. I'll steer clear of them. Oop, there's another one over there. Hmm. It's getting foggy as well. Another hatchet? This was in the handy. be nice to go up and just see if I can improve my view of the situation a bit but it's getting foggy so I probably can't. Let's have a bit of a look anyway. How does it look? Can't see a thing. So I probably have to... Didn't I see more huts over here? Yeah, there's something there, look. There, well, there was a wolf here, but he's uh, heading off, so I presume I'm safe-ish. Keep an eye out. I'm feeling cold just watching this, but it is winter in Britain when I'm recording this. And it's also pretty cold, actually. Well, by our standards, it's about... I don't know. Oh. Hopefully he's run away. <laughs> yeah. That's because I'm on the easy level, I'm sure. What's this? Nothing, presumably. Yeah, a wreck. Firewood, perhaps. Now he's coming towards me. Let's just nip indoors. <clears throat> it's another one of these cabins where there's no flipping fireplace. Something to burn, right, okay. Let's pick up the stuff first. Seems like I have an American or maybe a Canadian accent. Moldy chocolate bar. Uh, 
the backpack there, look. Systematically look around the room. Yum. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Decent wolf fox, yes. Take it. Go to my clothing menu with a C. Now these are ragged wool socks. That's just worn sport socks. Decent wool socks. Let's wear these. Okay. Can only wear one pair at a time, but okay. And how is my health at the moment? A bit peckish, a bit thirsty. What have I got for food? That's probably I for backpack, right? Yeah. I have a litre of water. Let's drink some. Okay, I have 0.73 now. Peckish doesn't mean starving. Eat a granola bar. Do for the moment, okay. Don't want to go mad. Let's just nip outside and hope that wolf has gone away. Looking okay. If I can't, I don't want to light a fire in the cabin. Right, well, how much daylight is there left? Three hours. And I'm kind of okay. A bit, bit winded. Well, I guess that means how tired I am. I might be better in one of those cabins out on the lake where there, where there was actually a um, little stove in them. Shall I do it? I don't know if it's safe. What's the temperature? Feels like minus five. Well, it should still be frozen, shouldn't it? But there's nowhere to sleep, right? So, no, I will have to I'll light a fire here. I will warm up by it. I'll have to be out outside this fire, I suppose. I don't know how to do this. Let's just light it, like, here, say. What do I do to light a fire? Four. We'll start a fire. Ooh. Matches, tinder plug, fuel, book one of one. Well, I'll start with some cedar firewood. I like the smell of cedar. Accelerant. I don't have any. Oh, I do. Um, I'll try it without it first and see if I'm even able to start a fire. 45. My base chance is 40%. Chance is 55. One hour. 95% um, chance of success. Okay, let's do that. And... Cool. Now, 58 minutes left and I'm feeling better. Let's add some sticks to it. Let's 
me three minutes, one hour, three minutes, one hour, eleven minutes, eighteen, twenty-six. Okay. Right. So that's cool. I'm, I'm warming up. How do I feel? I'm getting warm. Thank goodness for that. How much daylight left? About two hours. Well, that's cool. Cool in the sense of good. <laughs> Not in the sense of freezing. I'm warm now. I'm a bit winded, so I can just. Can I rest somehow? I'll probably need to sleep. Well, I've warmed up somewhat. When I get when I hit 100% warmth, I will wander away from the fire and just look around here to see what I can pick up a bit more. And then when it gets dark, I will go to sleep. something then. Right. So I can pick up some more sticks I suppose. There are critters around here. Check this one. No, I can't go in. Okay. Is this swampy land here? Should all be frozen up anyway, shouldn't it? Let's get a bunch of sticks. That'll come in handy. Eleven calories more. Left clicking to take it and so on. I could use this. Have a look around. Okay, so far. Could end up being useful. His self talk is rather like mine. A lot of useless things telling myself stuff I already know, right? Oh, this could be handy. Like I didn't know that when I looked at it and decided it was a stick. But this is the things we do, isn't it? We City of talking to ourselves. Exactly. Telling ourselves things we've already realised by the time we've said what we're saying. Who are we talking to? You know? Let's grab a whole load of sticks. That's right, that's it. There, there we go. That's an example of that exact self talk, self -talk right there. What have we here? What have we here? How do I feel? I'm not totally warm, but I'm okay. It's nearly dark. I've replaced my sticks, I suppose. Is that a cabin up there? It looks very regular. Or is it just a rock with some snow on it? I think it's just a rock. Oh, can I not go up any higher? 
Ah. Okay, well, let's head back down to my trusty cabin. It's getting dark anyway. Just warm. Hello, is there a wolf there? Yeah. I suppose what I could do with is a, a mobile phone or a radio or something. I don't know if the game gives you that, if there's any, any opportunity to escape this wilderness. onto the fire. <laughs> Damn, am I injured now? I hope not. F for first aid? Yes. Damn. Stupid thing to do. <sighs> Typical. I didn't mean to walk over it, of course, but that's game control. So, okay, so I'm tired. But I'm warm enough. Let's go in here. If I can. It's dark, presumably. Yeah, where's the bed? And I will finish part one there, and we will wake up. Oh, it's already awake, but it's still dark. And we'll wake up in the morning, I suppose. Well, I have woken up, but I can't see a thing, but that's okay. Quit. Does that save? I hope so. <laughs> No? Okay. Any unsafe progress will be lost? Well, I don't want to do that. Options, is it? No. Well, that's pretty cool. Unsafe progress will be lost. Okay. Well, I'm going to find out how to save it, and I'll tell you in part two. Okay. Bye for now.